We're here at Arizona Radiation Oncology Specialist in Gilbert. We're talking to Dr. Tannehill, and shortly we'll be talking to Dr. Magus. Um, these are board-certified radiation oncologist experts in the field. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Today we're learning about TrueBeam STX technology and the Calypso system. You are the first in the Southwest to offer the TrueBeam STX technology. Can you explain what it is to our viewers? Sure. Radiation therapy is treatment for cancer that involves directing beams of focused energy into the tumor or the cancerous tissue. The TrueBeam STX system is the most modern iteration of the radiation therapy treatment machines and incorporates all the latest technology. The TrueBeam system incorporates all of the latest imaging and radiation aiming technology to provide the best treatment possible. The TrueBeam technology is ideally suited for treatment of tumors in the brain, head and neck or mouth and throat area, the lung, the spine, and many cancers in the abdomen and pelvis, uh, including prostate cancer. So these particular types of tumors are tumors where very sensitive normal tissues are very close to where you want to treat, and by using the TrueBeam technology, we can spare those organs from damage. Why is it uh, better for head and neck treatment? In many people, the salivary glands are damaged by more traditional uh, radiation therapy techniques, leaving people with a permanent dry mouth and altered taste. Mm. This can also compromise their teeth in the long run. And how about the brain? Important tissues outside of the brain tumor in question would include the normal brain, the optic nerves, and the eyes. So the TrueBeam technology allows us to sculpt the radiation beam around those important structures, reduce the risk of side effects that can be devastating neurologically. Okay, and the spine? The spine is a very important organ, obviously. It controls uh, how you move your body. Uh, this is a very delicate area for both surgery and radiation therapy treatments. Spinal tumors that are closely opposed to the spinal cord, touching the spinal cord, have to be removed or treated with radiation therapy very delicately. And again, the TrueBeam technology allows us to take a picture of the patient seconds before the treatment, make very special and fine adjustments of the patient's location so the treatment is delivered very accurately and protects the spinal cord. And that means less chance of paralysis? Right. The main side effect of treatment of the spine would be paralysis in the long term, and we can almost eliminate that risk altogether. Okay. How about lung? The lung. Lung cancer is unfortunately very common. The number one side effect from radiation treatment of the lung is damage to the normal healthy lung. So by reducing the damage uh, done to the healthy lung, we reduce the chance of those patients getting bad side effects from those treatments. We also spare the spinal cord and the esophagus so folks don't have as much pain swallowing. Okay, and I read on your website that you have something called respiratory gating when you're treating the lung with this machine? Respiratory gating is a fairly new technology and we have the latest version of that installed on this machine. Respiratory gating is a technology that allows us to pulse the radiation therapy beam timed to someone's breathing pattern. As a person breathes, especially their lower lung and upper abdomen move up and down as much as an inch or even two. And when that is moving, it's difficult to get an accurate target lock on the cancer. By pulsing the radiation therapy beam at a certain phase of respiration, say at the end of exhalation, we can treat less healthy tissue by targeting the, the tumor only at that point in breathing. And how long are these treatments compared to traditional radiation treatments? Traditional radiation therapy treatment session on a given day might take anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. The TrueBeam technology has a little bit more focused intensity and allows us to deliver those treatments in a measurably shorter period of time, sometimes as fast as five to eight minutes. What about overall course of treatment? Is it a shorter course as well instead of just In, in some for cases, each we can accelerate the treatment. Uh, your average course of radiation therapy for breast cancer or prostate cancer might be six to seven weeks, respectively, uh, for some types of prostate cancer treatments the improved targeting of the prostate allows us to actually give the radiation therapy more quickly in terms of the number of treatments. We can give fewer treatments and achieve the same outcome. So patients, instead of being treated for seven or eight weeks, might get their treatment in five or six weeks. Again, it varies case to case. Okay, so TrueBeam combines imaging the tumor, managing breathing and, patient, and or patient movement, and then provides that pinpoint radiation protecting all the healthy cells. That's correct. As you can see, the machine behind us the radiation therapy is delivered uh, from the top of the gantry here. These two arms on either side of the machine are actually a CAT scanner that's built into the machine. Each day before treatment, the machine rotates around the patient and actually performs a CAT scan. And we use that CAT scan information to specifically localize that patient's tumor for that day's treatment. Thank you, Dr. Tannehill. We totally appreciate your time and all this wonderful information. And we're going to be talking to Dr. Magus now about the Calypso system. We're here with Dr. Magus from Arizona Radiation Oncology Specialist in Gilbert. He's a board certified radiation oncologist expert. He's going to tell us about the Calypso system today. Well, thank you very much for coming. It's our pleasure, Dr. Magus. Thank you. Um, what is the Calypso system? 
The Calypso system is a GPS system for tracking the location of the prostate. When we're delivering radiation therapy for prostate cancer, it's very important that the beams of radiation are targeted precisely on the prostate gland. The prostate will normally move up and down or in and out with respiration, and we want to make sure that the beam is only on while it's targeted right on the prostate. By monitoring the location of the prostate gland at the beginning of treatment and more importantly during the course of treatment, we can make sure that the radiation is only delivered while the prostate is in the proper position. By doing this, we can also minimize the side effects associated with radiation therapy to prostate cancer such as irritation to the rectum or even damage to the rectum as well as bladder irritation which could lead to more frequency, urgency, or damage to the sphincter muscles. So you put these, I guess, little beads or seeds through this machine or this tells you where to put them or this reads where they are? The Calypso beacons actually tell us where the prostate gland is in space in relation to the patient's body. We put three beacons in for triangulation purposes and this equipment here will monitor the position of those beacons. And this is used in conjunction with the TrueBeam technology, correct? Yes. This way we get to use the best of TrueBeam technology as far as beam shaping goes, and we can target it very precisely. One thing I noticed, and it's a little bit off track, is when I came in, it was so upbeat in here. You had lively music. You have this beautiful starlit sky, so when somebody is being treated, they're comfortable. Absolutely. We think it's very important here that the patients are relaxed or in a comfortable environment. They have enough stresses in their life that they don't need to come into a cold mechanized room yeah. for treatment. Now is this system only for prostate cancer? Currently it is. They are looking at new ways of using the Calypso beacons for tracking other tumors in the body such as lung tumors, but this has not been FDA approved yet. It is FDA approved for treatment of prostate cancer and there's a good track record in doing this. This, however, is the first time we've combined the Calypso technology with the TrueBeam technology to really take advantage of the technologic advances that are available. And the other advantages are a faster treatment, pinpoint radiation, no surgery, just the minor surgery with the, the injection. Exactly. Okay, now everybody's going to want to know this. TrueBeam and Calypso, are they covered by insurance? Absolutely. These are FDA approved treatments. They are reimbursed by Medicare as well as private insurers. Thank you, Dr. Magus. How do we find you? We are located near the Santan Freeway in the Val Vista exit, and you can reach us through our website, which is canceraz.com, or call us at the phone number listed on the screen. If you missed any of this information, you can visit our website, which is healthyutvshow.com, or you can email me directly, mary at healthyutvshow.com.